So we're here today to look at. Um, oh, this is a bit lucky. Yeah. Left it there, but uh, well, the 8-bit 2.6 LCD Li-ion IO IO. Let's try again. So it's an eight. Basically, it's an 8-bit machine. Um, I mean, there's three colors: red, black, and white. I've got the black one here. So. You have the 8-bit machine itself, and you also have the charger, which is it is a bit short. You don't have, and you don't have a USB plug here, so you're gonna you're gonna want one of them if you think about picking this up. And this does work on the TV, but there is one major downside: AV cables, not even triple AV, double AV. And I want to mind about this quickly here. Why? Most TV, a lot of TVs nowadays don't even come with AV in. So why would you, uh, you know, make it this AV capable? And you can even uh, replace the lithium battery quite easily. Um, but yeah, where does this go? Yeah, it goes in there. Uh, that's what it looks like if you're having it on charge and you're using it on TV at the same time. So, um, that's, uh, this is going to be a bit of a pain for me because I'm going to have to get the other webcam working in the OBS. It's a bit iffy with two webcams, so it's going to take me a minute to set this up, but I'm going to go and uh, play this on the TV and uh, to show you and show off some emulators for it. Oh, and before I forget, um, it's in the, it is obviously in the cell of a... Um, Game Boy controller, but these two buttons here are turbo. Um, that's pretty much it, and you have a reset button. That's all that's different. And it's even in the shape of Game Boy. So, yeah, which is that is kind of cool. Um, anyway, um, gameplay. Okay, for some reason, OBS just messed up. I don't know exactly why. I might have accidentally clicked something while getting up and to set this up, but um, basically, this it did not work on the TV. Um, all that happened was that you got bad or the audio didn't work, the TV didn't, it just a um, giant mess. So um, I had to record this with this webcam on an empty bucket of sweet and salted popcorn and just trying to keep the um, screen in front of the camera. So yeah, not very good. So currently this is the best I can do, uh, because it doesn't want to work on the TV. So let me just turn the volume up here. We, uh, there we, we have Jackal, which I don't uh, watch. So how many games do we have here? Yeah, 200, uh, 192, sorry. Uh, a lot of these are probably um, clones or whatever. Um, Let's see if we can find Mario and um, take it. What? Oh wait, hold on. Jekyll Adventures Super. Ah, here we go. Super Mario Bros. Oh, let's see how well it emulates Super Mario Bros. Um, press. Start, start. Uh, I'm having to use the webcam to play this, so, um, because I can't see from the angle that I'm at. So, what you see, I can I'm currently seeing as well. So, um. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any screen tearing, so it seems to emulate Go Good Mario Bros. emulator here. Um, it's better to keep this in frame though. Oh, I just walked into uh, the pits like a Goomba. Um, so yeah! Uh, press the reset button. Take me back to here. So yeah, I got a decent Mario Bros emulator here. Um,
don't remember. Um, I have played a couple games on here, Matt. I, play, I did play Mario and one of the Turtles games, or the Turtles games I had. Um, but if I go to... Um, Bomber Mania. This is one of the other games I played. Um, yeah, I just walked through that. Yeah, this emulator is not good at all. Okay, that one stops me from going there, but... Yeah, and... So, yeah, the, the, if, and the, I can't go there at all. Um, yeah, problems work. Yeah, so there's invisible and uh, yeah, so there's invisible blocks. I died to one of the invisible blocks, and there's just enemies floating through, floating through the walls. So yeah, um, extremely poor emulator. Like seriously, if you're looking for a good Bomberman emulator, look somewhere else. Now I'm literally just going to close my eyes and pick a random one. Okay, what did we pick? Street Fight Fighters 2010. Okay, oh, not the camera. A little background. I can't read that because it's all in Japanese or Chinese, one of the two. Uh, right. This bloody webcam wants to move everywhere. Okay, this does not look like Street Fighters. At all. And I don't even know how I attack. Oh wait, here we go. I was pressing the wrong button. So I was pressing table A instead of B. Stop it! Stop it! No, I'm dead. Let's try that again. That's not very fair. How? Oh. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, let's do another random one. I'm going to close my eyes again. I don't even know what this is. Oh, I have come just not want to stay in one place. So, what? Oh, one away! So... Can't attack. Can't jump. Oh, what? Okay, what? And then we jump there, but not there. What?
Okay. So, there's like a ninja thing where you have to like get to the... Ah, crap. I'm guessing you have to kill everybody then. No, I wanna go up. The music hits my ears. Okay, I died again. One last one because it's a bit difficult to record this like this. And I'll do a summary. Uh, let's play Je Jekyll because I want to know if this is the supposed to be Dr. Jekyll. No, Jekyll. Okay. Made, made by Konami in 1988. Never heard of this. Hold on. Okay, so I can only find in one direction. Yeah. So I can shoot them in multiple directions. Come on. No. There we go. You gotta be kidding me. And I'm dead. Oh, wait. The, em uh, voice crack. the emulation actually seems quite decent on these games. For the most part, apart from Bomberman. I don't really see any screen tearing. Um, game over. Okay, so, um, I'll be back in a minute. So, my final verdict on this 8-bit machine, uh, called Retro Game, is, um, some of the emulators are decent, and the button layout is decent, and they give you table buttons. I don't know why, what games you would use table buttons in an 8-bit, but, uh, most of the emulators are decent, apart from that Bomberman game. Uh, the Bomberman, em Bomberman emulator, that was just horrible, uh, really bad emulator, so, um, yeah, normally I would suggest picking this up, but there's one reason why I would not suggest picking this up, and that is because there is no visible SD or micro SD card, not on the sides, not on the bottom, not on the top, and not behind the lithium battery, which is actually a little bit hard. Um, but yeah, there is no visible micro SD card that I can find, meaning if it's even possible to change up what is in here, 
you would have to first take this apart, which I think is too much work to put an emulator onto something as small as this, when you could probably get um, uh, better uh, emulators on other 8-bit machines or um, whatever. So, I wouldn't necessarily suggest picking this up, I would suggest um, getting an 8-bit machine that actually allows you to um, add and change games up using a net micro SD card. Um, but it's not the worst thing ever, like, if you just want something that can play a few 8-bit, 8-bit games, want, want something that can play Mario on the go, the Super Mario Bros on the go, and you don't want to get a 3DS or 2DS on it, and then buy um, the emulator, then this is this does run Mario Bros. Well, no screen tearing, so. Um, I don't know what's the difference between the Mario emulator that I used and the, the Bomberman emulator, because maybe the, the emulator, the emulator saw, right, so here's how I think, this is my understanding of emulators. You have an emulator. Uh, something that runs the emulators, and then you have the em emulators for the games. Um, so, and the, the, you can't mix um, like an emulator from one like thing that runs emulators with another. So they would have had, had to get all the emulators from like one source. So I don't know why the other emulators seem or at least decent from like the few seconds that I played of them compared to, especially compared to the Bomberman one. So I don't know. Well. Not the worst thing ever, but you could definitely do better. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Also, that ca I don't know if it was a cable or if it was actually this that was doing that, but yeah, it just didn't work on TV for me. Don't know if, I if it'll do that for you, but not for me. Bye-bye.